Hi everybody, welcome to Southern Comfort Ramblings. I'm Kelly Lee, welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we're going to be doing some herb pork chops. We're gonna do uh, some zucchini and squash potato pancakes, and we're also going to do a very simple chipotle corn recipe. The ingredients start off with the pork chops uh, part of it, and you're going to have some boneless pork chops. Um, you're going to want about four ounces of mushrooms. These are optional. You're going to want some olive oil. You're going to want some cheese. And I'm using fresh mozzarella, but you can use goat cheese, feta cheese, any kind of cheese that you would like. Um, you're going to want some kosher salt. I like this in this recipe more than I like sea salt. You're only going to need about a half a teaspoon. You're going to need one small leaf. You're also going to want some thyme, and this comes straight out of my garden, so it's not like real pretty cut yet, but you're going to want about a teaspoon of thyme. You're going to want a teaspoon of oregano. Um, you're also going to want some broth. And there's two different ways of doing this. This is completely up to you. You can use the Swanson chicken broth, and that is one cup that you'll need of that. Or you can use some white wine, or you can do like I did, and I took half and half. So as long as it's a cup, it's good with us. So that is the pork chop part of the recipe. The next part of the recipe is for the squash zucchini potato pancakes and obviously you're going to need a medium zucchini and a small squash. You're also going to need some green onions. You'll need four of them. And I'm using simple, but simply potatoes for the hash browns. You can make your own. I didn't want to go that route. So, and you're also going to need one egg. You're going to need a, one tablespoon of flour. For the chipotle corn, even easier. You're going to need at least a cob and a half of corn per person. Um, or you can just use frozen corn. It works just as well. The other thing you're going to want is some chipotle. Now this comes from downtown Charleston where I'm from and I really like to use it, but you can use fresh chipotles or just use the spice like I'm going to do. Okay, so we've got the leek. Um, we cut it off. We only use the white part. This part gets thrown away. And what you do is you cut it in half. You cut the root off, which I've already done, and you just slice it thin. And you're only going to slice the white part and just start into the green. You're going to do this with the entire leek. All right, next we're going to do the cheese, and you're just going to chunk it. Just going to take it, and you can do this very easily with a knife. I just happen to have these little gadgets. I'm a gadget girl. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to be chunked. And you're going to do that for the um, for all of the cheese. Okay, one of the last prep jobs that I need to do ahead of time is my herbs. And I have all my herbs in there, my thyme and my oregano, um, all fresh. And I have this mill, and we're just going to put it in. And we're just going to mince them up. All right, so now we're going to work on the potatoes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our green onions and we're going to slice them very thin. Next, we're going to do something cool. It's gadget time. I just bought this wonderful little product for shredding my zucchini and my squash. Um, I got this at my local cooking store. It looks like this. Of course, it's Swedish. And... I don't read Swede and I don't read Russian, so I guess we're going to learn together. But basically, all you do is you put it in and it shreds it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the more you go down, the more it shreds it. And this you can actually make zucchini spaghetti in it. And it just comes off as one long shred. This is the coolest thing. 
we're just going to do a very coarse cut because it's all shredded it's just one big long shred and we're going to shred this down okay we're going to do the same thing with the squash of course it's going to be a little bit harder because it's weirder shaped So there's your shredded zucchini and your, your squash all mixed up together. And we're going to start combining them now. All right, so we have the beaten egg. We're going to take our zucchini, squash, and our uh, green onions. We're going to put those in there. We're going to take the packet of hash browns. We're going to dump that in there. Give it a good stir. You're going to add your flour. You're going to add a oops, about a half a teaspoon or a tablespoon of kosher salt. And you're just going to mix this up really well. And we'll be back after we mix it up. So now it's the last part of our supper, and that's the corn. And as you can see, I already started uh, doing the corn. We have a corn peeler, and this thing is handy dandy. Um, we're just going to take it, and you more than want to do this on a plate because the corn goes everywhere. So you're just going to get all the corn off. And as I said, it's about an ear and a half per person. And like I said, it will go everywhere. Go back and get that little bit. And what you're going to end up is just breaking these apart and putting them in a bowl. And then we're going to start cooking them. All right, so we're ready to cook now. And we've got two tablespoons of hot oil in here. We've started heating that. We've got two tablespoons of hot oil here for the potatoes. And then back here, we have about a half a stick of melted butter for the corn. So we're going to do all this at once. Wish me luck. We're going to put the pork chops, which I've already seasoned with pepper and kosher salt. And we're going to put them in the pan. And we're going to cook them for about two to three minutes on each side. And then we're just going to remove them for a little bit. And let me get my stuff. And once the two or three minutes are up, I'm going to turn them and we'll be right back. All right, so we've turned the pork chops over. It's been two or three minutes. And we're going to go ahead and start on the potato pancakes. What you're going to do is you're going to take your entire mixture you're going to make a big handful and you're going to make it into a patty. And it's going to fall apart a little bit. That's perfectly okay. And you're just going to put it right there on the hot pan, kind of smush it down a little bit. And you're going to do four of those. And I'm just going to stay on this side. You saw the first one. And we're just going to put those patties right there on the hot oil. We have that on medium high heat. And we're just going to put them down there. All right. We'll be right back. All right. So we have the medium high heat. We've taken off the pork chops. We're going to lower that sound a little bit. We're going to add the broth. Um, we're going to put our mushrooms in. And we're going to put our spices and leeks in that we had. And we're going to stir them around. And you just want them to get softened. And once they start to soften, that's when we'll put the pork chops back in. For now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take that smoked chipotle sauce or spice that we bought downtown. And we're going to put about... I would say two tablespoons is what I usually use in there. I've got the broth, white wine, and the leeks and um, mushrooms in here. We've removed the pork chops, and we're going to start putting them back in now. Um, and you want to reduce the broth down uh, just a little bit by boiling it out. 
But we're going to go ahead and put the pork chops back in so we can rewarm them right into the leeks. And we've got the potatoes going over here. I don't know if you can notice, but they're a little, they're getting the brown that we need. We got the chipotle uh, corn in here. It's looking absolutely delicious. And in the center here, I have my little prep bowl, and that has the butter and the garlic that we smashed up and a little bit of our favorite herbs. From here, we've started plating it. We've got the chipotle, chipotle corn. We've got our browned zucchini and squash potatoes, which, by the way, are, taste delicious. I had a little bit of it. And we have our pork chops. Now what you're going to do is this is the mushroom and leeks with the wine sauce and you're going to take a little bit of that and you're going to just put a small bit on top of each one along with the wine sauce of course. And once you do that you're going to take your cheese that we crumbled up and you're going to put a few pieces just right on top and of course it will melt down just a little because of the heat we put a little bit more and oops runaway mozzarella and this is the herbed garlic butter that we made and that once again was the butter and garlic and some um, of the herbs and we're just going to dab a little bit of that on top of the cheese. Let me do my pork chop. This side's Bill's because he gets two. Yeah, he's a grown boy. So we're going to do that. And my husband, being a northerner, loves applesauce with his potato pancakes. So we're just going to put a dab of applesauce, and he can add some more later on top. And I think I shall have some too. And that's just regular canned applesauce. In the fall, I'm going to show you how to make uh, your own applesauce. So that is the whole dinner. And that is our herbed pork chops, our potatoes, and our corn. Well, thank you for coming to join me in my kitchen. Um, as you can see, it doesn't leave too much of a mess. Of course, I'm one of those ones that clean as we go. So, but I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It was really easy. It was fun. It's sort of healthy minus all the butter, but I'm Southern. Butter's part of my life. I do thank you again. I hope you will subscribe by hitting uh, the YouTube button and then subscribing over here. There's a little plus sign. You hit that subscribe button. Also like, and please, I ask you to share, share, share on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And I really thank you again. Um, let me know if you have any ideas or anything you want me to cook for you. And I will see you next week. Bye, y'all.